in an interview I gave about a half an hour before this presentation, I had a question about uh, the, uh, the question, why don't we remember the first couple of years of our lives, and the term um, that cognitive psychologists uh, use for that is called infantile amnesia. And that led me into uh, a talk about the role of language in uh, human memory. Uh, specifically, uh, the, the term that my colleagues and I like to use is that language is the currency of our thoughts. As adult human beings, it may be impossible for any of us to have any kind of memory cognition that is not tied to language. In other words, we think in terms of language. Well, uh, getting into that issue of infantile amnesia, why is it that we don't remember our birth? Why don't we remember our baptism if we were baptized as a little baby? Or why don't we remember coming home from the hospital? Well, it's probably because uh, one of the good theories, my favorite theory related to that is because young children don't have language. And so they still experience the world, they still perceive, you know, uh, have sensations and perceptions, they form memories, but they're not in terms of language. So as adults, when we're trying to retrieve memories from childhood, it's very difficult because we don't have language to draw on. We can't put it into a story, we can't put it into uh, an episode in our life. Some researchers have suggested that we probably do remember information uh, from our early childhood. Uh, for example, if a child suffered a trauma, like if they were in a fire and got burned, they may very well remember that, but they can't express it in terms of language. They might get depressed um, in the wintertime because that's when the fire occurred and that's when they got burned, and they don't know why they get depressed in the wintertime. But that's how the memory instantiates itself. It's not in terms of language, it's not in terms of a, a, a story or episode they can relate. Did that get into your question at all? Okay. Yes.